Right, welcome ladies and gents. Apparently there's a Bane and Deathstroke uh, sort of like team-up movie in the works. Bit of a weird one. This comes to us actually from The Hollywood Reporter. They had an exclusive on this. Uh, it was two days ago now, but unfortunately, sorry, it just sort of slipped by the wayside. But reporting on it now, thought we'd take a look. Um, uh, look, personally, I actually don't think this is a great idea. And just the reason being, just as an FYI, I think there's been a trend from movie studios of late giving us the villain team-up movies and villain movies where they're not quite villains or, you know, they are villains, but some of the stuff's a bit slapstick and ah, a bit of humour in there. I'm not interested in, in watching that. I don't care. Bane should not be humorous. Okay, Bane should not be humorous. Neither should Deathstroke. These characters are very serious, I think, and I just don't trust James Gunn uh, maneuvering these characters in a way where they will be taken seriously. You know, a Bane and Deathstroke team-up movie. Does that sound like something that won't have quite an air of sort of humour to it? I reckon it will. And that's just super lame to me. I think that's just ridiculous. Like, how good the Penguin is, is only as good as it is. It's predicated entirely on the fact that the individuals working on it are taking it seriously. I don't think these will be taken seriously. And I just, you know, I don't want to see the trend continue. We've we've had too much of this from movie studios. Too many of these types of movies. I don't want to see any more. It's dog shit. But anyway, that's my two cents. What do you guys think initially? Let me know down below. But basically, DC uh, are developing these two individuals for the big screen. It says here, with a big budget Joker movie just weeks away. And a Penguin HBO series freshly unveiled, which is absolutely exceptional. Love the Penguin. A few other DC villains are being targeted for the spotlight. So sources tell The Hollywood Reporter that Bane, the super steroid injecting Venom, injects Venom, which is basically a super steroid, yeah. Uh, injecting antagonist who was previously seen in the 2012 Christopher Nolan movie The Dark Knight Rises. And Deathstroke, another popular arch nemesis in the comic book company's fold are being lassoed together for a movie. You also, you know what it reeks of? It reeks of studio executives not quite knowing what to do with these characters. So they're like, oh, you know what we'll do? We'll just team them up. I'm like, no, go away, man. No, that's lame. That's super lame. So the James Gunn and Peter Safran-led DC Studios is developing a script from who? Matthew Orton. Someone who worked on Captain America Brave New World. A movie which has apparently had loads of issues. So that's terrible, isn't it? That movie has apparently been reshot entirely. So, no, this ain't good. This is not good news. So there's no director on the project. Okay, fine. Bane is a relatively recent addition to Batman's rogues gallery, with writer Chuck Dixon and artist Graham Nolan creating him in the early 90s. The character was born and raised in a prison on a fictional Caribbean island, a local uh, a locale that allowed him to not only hone his brute fighting skills, but also absorb the teachings from all manner of international criminals. He later was the subject of a horrific steroidal test, an experiment that left him incredibly strong, but also addicted to serums. Venom. It's literally Venom. What the hell? Why doesn't Hollywood Reporter know this? So the character made his mark in an epic storyline titled Nightfall, in which he brutally broke Batman's back, a story that catapulted him to the upper rankings of Bat villains. The character has appeared in numerous video games and TV series, and was notably portrayed by Tom Hardy in uh, The Dark Knight Rises. Um, look, at the end of the day, I just, these, I think this is, this is just shit. This is terrible idea. They don't really have much else. Like, they, just to list it off, by the way, DC and Warner Brothers have done Joker. Okay, so they've done the Joker. They've got Joker, Joker 2. They've got the Penguin. Okay, that's not comedic but okay um neither is the joker but you get my drift like there's too much focus on these anti-hero type things or villains claim to be anti-heroes harley quinn right the suicide squad it's just it's too much 
You've also then got the flip side of that, which is Marvel stuff. Marvel is doing it now. Way too much. Now, who is Orton? Who is Matthew Orton? Well, Orton, Matthew Orton's resume is filled with grounded and gritty work involving criminals and killers. He received his first credit penning Operation Finale, the true life drama that told of the plan to capture Nazi SS officer Adolf Eichmann, one of the architects of the Holocaust. Chris Weitz directed the feature that starred Oscar Isaac and Ben Kingsley. He also created Devil's Peak, which is a serial killer crime miniseries made by South Africa's DSTV and uh, has hostage thriller Cleaner starring Clive Owen and Daisy Ridley in the can. He earned a credit on Marvel's Moon Knight TV show. I mean, that was largely wank, to be honest, but okay. And the company brought him back into the fold to pen reshoots for Captain America Brave New World, which deals with terrorism. I mean, I just think this these people are terrible. What, what is this? I hate this idea. You know, like, I, I really like Bane as a character. He can be really complex. Um, I don't think the on-screen... I mean, Tom Hardy treated him... They did him justice with Tom Hardy, I think, to a degree. But a lot of the on-screen presence, and also video games, have not really treated him with the respect he deserves. Now, you could do a lot with that Bane character. Uh, and you could also do a hell of a lot with Deathstroke. I don't trust DC to, to, to treat them with the respect that they deserve. And I don't see why anyone else would at this point in time. Like, DC's anti-hero stuff. They've got a hell of a lot off the ground already. They're doing a lot of stuff. It's just, I don't know, not my cup of tea. I think this won't be that great. I don't really have anything else to go on other than, like, why? It just reeks of them not knowing what to do with the characters. So they're like, uh, a team-up movie, I guess. Do you see what I mean? When have these characters ever actually worked together before? I don't remember them really, really working together. Bane... I mean, Bane's been treated as more of a lackey, uh, like a hired gun. Oh, I don't know, maybe they get hired to go kill the same person, but then, I don't know. I just don't, uh, I don't trust DC to keep the jokes out of this and for it to be serious. Again, the Penguin is amazing, and it's amazing, because the individuals working on it are treating it with respect and seriously. But hey, it's still early days yet. This might actually be good. We'll have to wait and see. So what do you guys think? Let me know down below. Cheers, guys. Take care. Bye-bye now.